Hi, and welcome back to Black Belt Secrets once more. Today I have a video that will help you relieve sciatica while you sleep. Stay tuned. So for those of us that do heavy training and particularly martial arts, you'll know that I'm a fan of removing back pain and all of these things that come with the arts that we love. One of the things that's overlooked is the time we're asleep, the time when we're doing nothing, or are we? We're not doing nothing when we're asleep. What we are doing is we're holding out our body in a position for a long period of time. The worst thing about this is that if you're in the wrong position, it's a while before you wake up and you correct that position. If you're walking along or you're standing around and you realize you've got most of your weight and you've compromised your body position, some of us that have got back pain will think, mm, that's not good, I'm going to move. And you'll, you'll shift your body weight, and you'll move yourself about. This isn't so easy when you're asleep. Your brain will wake you up sometimes, but usually that's too late. You're in a lot of pain by then. So by the time you get into that pain state, you're already overstretched, you're compromised, you're twisted, and there's various different reasons for this. So we're gonna go through just one or two positions and why I think they're a problem, and my one and all solution for those of us that suffer with back pain, the best solution I've found for overcoming sciatic type pain or any kind of back nerve related pain while you sleep. So it couldn't be easier. So here we go. So the problem created with a lying down position for those of us that suffer with back pain is that the body is not designed to lie down perfectly uh, with the anatomy that we are born with. So if you picture this as my bed, if I'm lying down on a flat position here, you can see that my bottom leg is, is absolutely fine. It, it goes uh, perfectly flat. But if I were to keep my feet one shoulder width apart like this, as I would simulate a standing position, this would be a, a comfortable standing position with my feet one shoulder width apart, which would mean that my legs and my hips are square to the floor, as you can see here, going down to make my feet one shoulder width apart. The problem we have when we sleep is that some of us sleep with our legs out straight, some of us curl the legs up, some, some of us sleep on the back and so on. We're gonna go through these different positions and just see how they affect the body. So with the feet flat out here, if I'm lying with my feet and my legs straight and I'm lying down like this, this is what happens. This leg's gonna come down all the way down here. Now this is not a natural position. You wouldn't stand in this position because one leg is now perfectly straight and in line with this side of the hip. This leg is going down at quite a steep angle. That's going to pull and overstretch this area of the muscles here around the hip. A lot of us will compensate from this position by curling the knees up thusly. This still has a problem because the, the side that's on the floor is still in line with the right hip that I'm lying on. This side is still coming down at an angle. It's disguised somewhat because it's curled up. But if I were to lift it back straight to one shoulder width apart and then curl both knees as though I were lifting both knees to the chest, this leg should still be here. And even then the knee wants to go slightly over this knee that's on the floor and my hips are still pushing out slightly this way. If I were to bring it back and they're in line, actually it's here. Now this would be like a seated position that if you were sat on a chair that would be comfortable. You wouldn't sit on a chair and do that that wouldn't be the most comfortable thing to do. So you can see here that this is still overstretching that position there. So if your pain is on this side of the back, which it is for me, it's mostly on this side that I have to maintain, this leg's coming down and it's going to overstretch this area here. What we will naturally do in our sleep, and I find myself doing, is to overcome this, is to straighten the leg that's underneath and roll even slightly further over like this. That seems to feel more comfortable. Now, that might be more comfortable initially, 
because you've taken the initial strain off there. But if you can see what's happened to the back here, there's a twist right in the lower back here, and it continues to twist all the way up because you'll have, this shoulder will come further forward here to support your head lying down here. If I were to push this backwards, and suddenly that's not very comfortable anymore. So you're naturally going to push this arm and shoulder forwards whilst this one comes over here. This actually mimics the manipulation position for an osteopath. They will have this shoulder coming out this way and this shoulder coming here and they will twist you around this way. This is a manipulation. You don't want to sleep in this position. If you sleep in this position, you're going to overstretch this area of the back and all chiropractors and osteopaths will tell you not to self-manipulate. So this is like self-manipulating for half the night if you sleep like this, you'll, you'll fall asleep. It'll be comfortable for a couple of hours, you'll think that it's comfortable, but you will wake up and then when you un unwrap yourself, this area is so overstretched and in a twisted position, it just really isn't good. The next problem, before I come to uh, some of the solutions, the next problem is if we're lying on, on our back, completely flat on our back, and I'm gonna put some diagrams up to show this. Um, don't worry about the head for a minute because there's, there's plenty of good um, orthopedic pillows for this. But if we're lying on our back in a flat position here, you'll see that there is a natural S shape in the spine here that is meant to be maintained. If you put your hand underneath, and then you lie on it, you'll see that there is a little bit of a gap. What happens when you sleep, particularly, I mean, I've got my knees up here, just force of habit, because this takes the sort of stress out of the lower back. If you put your legs down, you'll find that it stretches upwards this lower part of the back a little bit when you put the legs down. But then through the night, whilst it is being stretched in that way, the lower back is going to sink and flatten out so that's actually not good for the back either. You do need something here to take the shape, the S shape of the back and maintain this position here. If you put your hand there, you'll feel that it takes the stress and the pressure off the lower back. If you take the hand away, particularly if you start from here and you sort of get comfortable, then stretch your legs out, you'll feel that it stretches that bottom part of the spine and then gradually as, as that sinks, it's going to become uncomfortable. If you contrast that by putting your hand there and then get yourself comfortable again, then take your feet down, that's offering your lower back that bit of support. It's a little bit like when you do leg raises, you put both hands underneath your lower back like this. In training, you put both hands here. That will give you a little bit of lower back support for when you're doing abdominal exercises like these. That's why we have the hands there, is the lower back support. Um, and another one is, is quite, quite drastic, is if you're lying on your front, and where does your head go? Your head's gonna turn to one side or the other. I don't recommend sleeping on your front for that reason, because your neck is going to be in this twisted position. And then again, some of us will do this, and we'll end up trying to find a comfortable way to sleep if you're on the front. One way or another, that's going to twist your back and cause you significant overstretching and problems. My solution to this is one of these. It's a shaped pillow, which uh, it has a dip in the middle. It's wider at one side than it is on the other. So if you look at the shape, if we go back to this earlier, I mean, I like, I do like myself to sleep uh, with my knees curled up. Some of us do that by habit. But if you look at the shape between the legs and you look at the shape of this pillow, so it's wider on one side and it dips in the middle. This fits perfectly over that shape for both legs and it keeps the legs, or the knees rather, apart and virtually in line with the hip uh, structure there. So actually you're, you're taking away all of this space between the knees, which it would otherwise just fall all the way down. So it's just offering that support and it's memory foam, so it's not rigid. It will sink to the shape of your knee, so it's not uncomfortable. This just takes that movement away and then you can get yourself comfortable with a normal orthopedic pillow. This offers the best support between the knees and stops that overstretching. Suddenly my hips are back in line, my knees are in line 
And if I take, if I keep my knees still and take the pillow away, that is my resting position there. So I've got all that space back. And if I were to keep that distance apart and do this, suddenly that is a natural position to be in. And this is my solution. And this has helped no end. Uh, by the time you've used it for a week or two, you will really notice the difference because if you now analyze the way you sleep, whether you sleep on your side like this and you've got your knees creating that huge angle there coming down, or worse still, if you've got them out straight, and then that's amplified as well because it's still a huge angle going the full length. So wherever you've got your legs here, it's taking that huge angle. If you put this in between, it takes the angle away, immediately more comfortable. So thank you very much for watching. Please do leave me some comments in the box below. Tell me how you sleep. What's your position? Do you have a secret as to how you overcome this pain while you sleep? I'd be interested to know all the different ways people like to sleep that have back pain, that have caused pain, reduced pain. Leave me the comments below. Tell me what you'd like to see in the next video and I'll catch up with you soon. Thanks for watching.